NVIDIA, okay, beats Tesla as the most traded stock ahead of hotly anticipated earnings, and Tom actually has the earnings, hmm. and wait till you see what happened to these guys. I'll read this, and then Tom's going to drop the bomb on how much the value of their company went up in less than 12 hours, give or take. Here we go. So NVIDIA, okay, a company that a lot of people are talking about, a lot of people are saying it's our investment, it's what we're looking at, we're not getting away from this. Stock has surpassed Tesla as the most traded with an average daily volume of $20, $30 billion compared to Tesla's $22 billion, reflecting robust investors' uh, int interest ahead of NVIDIA's earnings, according to Reuters and LSEG data. Analytics anticipate NVIDIA's earnings report to be a market-moving event, giving its pivotal role in determining the stock's trajectory. Freedom Capital Market Strategist Jay Woods remarked, can this momentum continue? Question mark. The answer is simple. Yes. Yes, it can. Highlighting NVIDIA's 47% year-to-date increase and its $1.8 trillion market cap now exceeding that of Alphabet and Amazon. NVIDIA's recent for, uh, foray into AI investments such as a stake in SoundHound AI has triggered significant market enthusiasm with associate film like Super Microcomputing witnessing remarkable stock surges. Tom, can you tell the audience how much their valuation went up in less than 12 hours? So going into the Absolutely. So going into the earnings report, every company on the stock market has to make earnings reports four times a year. And going into that, there was a bunch of shorts saying, oh, NVIDIA is too high. This can't go on. And the shorts were putting pressure on the stock and the stock went down a little bit before the earnings report. Then they came out. Yeah, we uh, we gave you polite guidance of twenty point five billion for the quarter. That's one quarter. Um and uh, it came out at $22.1 billion. So that was step one. Everybody goes, holy crap. Remember, a quarter is only 13 weeks. And so if you give guidance, you maybe beat your quarter. We've seen it, Pat, like, you know, a couple hundred million, things like that. But to beat it by almost $2 billion, you beat the quarter. All of the sudden, and by they did it after the close. And then they said, you know, our data centers were up uh, 16 billion of this. So the data centers are the engine of AI. Everybody that's putting AI here, ChatGBT here, is using NVIDIA data centers. They are the they are the engine. This is a boom similar to when the dot-com boom happened and things like we all learned what a server was. What's a server? Well, we needed thousands and millions of servers and data centers everywhere to make our internet go, and we need routers. Well, this is the engine. NVIDIA makes the engine of AI. And in after hours trading, after they, remember, they made this announcement after the close, and in after hours trading, all the orders come in so you can see the pressure on the spike. They jumped 250 billion billion dollars of valuation for the company up to uh, I think they're right now 1.88 billion right now and by the way ladies and gentlemen that's one Netflix <laughs> <laughs> that is one Netflix that they how grew was your overnight. day how, how valuable is your company well in less than 12 hours we made about a Netflix <laughs> Can you imagine that Crazy. that just it's, sounds it's, hilarious wouldn't it, by the way Netflix by the way there are people out there that that talk in, in humor in Wall Street and they use company names as currencies. And they'll say, well, that's about two Twitters. And it puts things in perspective when you suddenly yeah, start thinking about totally. things like this. And so these guys to the engine, this was the single most important earnings report of the last five years, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you why. Because the A, they used the statement um, in the earnings report where they said, look, this is the tipping point for AI. We have seen this go from $2 billion to $16 billion a quarter in revenue here. And by the way, remember, Pat, I said it was a $22 billion quarter. Mm -hmm. What's 22 times 4? 88. Yep. Their year closed at 60. So the reason the stock is running is they're on an $88 million run rate, right? An $88 billion run rate. And they just closed the year because this was the fourth quarter earnings report at 60. So really, it's... Yes, about NVIDIA, but it also says this is what's going on behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen, on AI, is all companies everywhere are adding AI to their service and products. And I'll tell you something else he said that was very interesting that anybody can understand. He said, look, we're powering what's called agents. And agents are things, look at it this way. You have Dropbox, you have Box, you have these uh, services that 
an individual person may use or a company may use. Everybody knows what Dropbox and Box are. And we are powering things that they're going to add agents to that to do things for you that you can, here's the word to use, you could hire the agents from us and pay us for these agents to do certain tasks and run things through Dropbox and Box and a lot of other service providers. Do you hear that? Yeah. So you're going to be buying services from them and they're using the phrase hire agents as if you're hiring like an employee to do something. And this is the future of AI and this is what's going on. So the bigger story is, ladies and gentlemen, we've reached a tipping point on wide stream implementation and adoption of AI services. I, mm-hmm. I, I, that's still unbelievable that in 12 hours, the stock went up. Two foreign aid Ukraine packages overnight. <laughs> That's insane. I love Pat. you, Vinny. Now you're do you're playing the I game. I did the math. You're doing wow. The math. Two, I'm not, two well, Ukraine packages in twelve hours. I'm not, I'm not paying. Whoa. Th- actually, I'm not actually, paying actually, three Fords it, actually, for that. Actually, it's not two. It, it's four because remember of it's the a, 95, oh yeah, my bad. 60 my billion bad. goes to 60. Ukraine. My Go ahead. Get your facts right. I, have, I apologize. Well, my I, math. I, I do like the Netflix analogy because you know we'll break this down to sort of a personal finance perspective. You know, a few years ago, prior to COVID, there used to be something called Fang, right? These were the hottest stocks in the world. Fang, F A A N G. It stood for Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix. And Google. Since then, it's become the Magnificent Seven, which is um, Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Meta, which was Facebook. You know, they had they couldn't do the fang, fang thing anymore. Microsoft, Tesla, and now Nvidia. So, uh, you know, I get a lot of questions of like, how should you, how do I invest in AI? Should I buy Bitcoin? What should I do with my money? What should I do with my investment assets? What should I do? I've never, I've never even invested before. How do I get a slice of the American pie? This is very simple, guys. If you want a slice of the American pie, all these companies are in the S&P 500. Go get an index fund. Put it in your 401k. Put it in your Roth IRA. Go get a slice of American greatness. All these companies, you know, people are like, I don't want to invest in Bitcoin. Invest in the companies that are investing in Bitcoin. We've had Michael Saylor on the podcast multiple times. MicroStrategy, they're one of the biggest Bitcoin holders. Tesla, they hold Bitcoin. Um, Coinbase, they hold Bitcoin. If you want to get involved in AI, invest in the S&P 500. Ride the growth of NVIDIA. So all these strategies, don't overthink it. Just invest in the S&P 500. I think these seven companies had what percentage of the S&P 500 growth? 30-something percent this past year. Damn. You know, everyone was calling for a recession in 2023. The market was up 25%. And by the way, a Magnificent the Seven Profits now exceeds every, mm-hmm. almost every country in the world. Yeah. Wow. Tom said something about Germany. Tom, if you can say that about Germany. Yeah, that. When you talk about it, the, the, the strength and power of the American economy and the companies that are made, the German stock market has a market cap of $2 trillion dollars. If the German stock market was traded here, it would be in third place behind Microsoft mm-hmm. at two point nine trillion, Jeez. Apple at two point eight trillion, and Alphabet, Amazon, and Nvidia all approximately the same size as the entire that is stock insane. market. Wow. Okay, that's called U.S. capitalism. That yeah. I, that's why it's worth Gangster. fighting for and protecting and not letting these crazy things take in place. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.